As powerful and flexible as sorting in Python is, there are a few things you need to keep in mind that can cause headaches if you miss them. First, lists must contain comparable data types. Some types of data can't be sorted because they are too different to be compared. Let's take a look at some in the interpreter. Go ahead and make a list called mixed types and set this equal to none and zero. If you call sorted on mixed types, you'll get an error. This is because sorted is trying to do a less than comparison between an integer and a none type. You can actually take a look at this and see it for yourself if you do none is less than zero. And you'll get that same issue there. If you have multiple data types in your list and they can be compared without throwing a type error, then you should be okay. Sometimes you're able to convert your elements so they can be compared in a process known as casting. So go ahead and make a new list, call this mixed numbers, and this will be five, and then a one in quotes, 100, and then a 34 in quotes. So what you end up with is an integer, a string, integer, and string. Now if you try to call sorted on this, and make sure caps lock is off, you'll see that you get this error here because you're trying to compare strings and integers. But you know that this one can be evaluated as an integer if you were to call something like int and pass in the one. So in this case, you could actually cast those strings as integers as needed. So you'll just make a new list, and in here will be integer x for x in mixed numbers. And make sure you've got your closing parentheses. And there you go. Sorted was able to handle that because all of the elements were evaluated as integers. Now sometimes Python will try to implicitly convert values to different data types as needed. You might be familiar with something like this if you ever do an if statement and pass in an empty list because you know that an empty list will evaluate to false. So let's see how this works for sorting by making a new list called similar values and set this equal to false, zero, one, a equals b, and one is less than or equal to zero. Now right away, Python is gonna to try to evaluate those comparisons. So if you just take a look at similar values, you're gonna end up with false, zero, one, and then false and false, because these aren't equal and one is greater than zero. So let's call sorted on similar values. And look at that. You've got false, zero, false, false, and then one has been brought to the end. Now interestingly, the zero was not sorted separately from these falses, so you can tell that Python was evaluating these to be equal. And this highlights another aspect of sorting called sort stability. If Python tries to sort two elements of equal value, they will return their original order in the list. So looking at the original list, you can see that you had false and zero. Now one was brought to the end, but then these falses were moved forward. Finally, case is also important when sorting, as you saw earlier. Remember how the capital letters would appear before the lowercase letters, no matter where they landed in the alphabet. This is because Python is using Unicode code points to return a number value for each letter. To see this, let's go ahead and make a names with case list, which is going to equal Harry, and then Susie with a capital S, Al with a lowercase a, and then Mark with a capital M. So if you take a look at that, you've got a mix here of lowercase and capital letters. If you call sorted on this, you'll see that the capital letters appear first. And this makes sense if you were to look at the Unicode code points for each of those letters. So let's go ahead and make a new list here, and you're going to use the ORD function for the first letter in each name, and then also just show what that first letter is in each name. And actually, let's make this a tuple, and do this for name in sorted, and then pass in names with case you'll see here that the capital letters have lower ORD values than the lowercase letters, and they're sorted in ascending order. 
Now we haven't looked at any strings where they both start with the same letter. But if this is the case, Python will just look at the next letter and continue on until it finds a difference. So if you wanted to make some very similar strings, and make something like HHHD, HHHB, HHHA, when you call sorted on this, it'll just go to the last letter of each one because the first three letters are the same in each case. Likewise, if all the letters are the same but they're of different lengths, When you call sorted on this, Python will just grab the shortest ones first because there's no character to compare with a longer string. All right, hopefully you have a pretty good idea of how to deal with some of the strange cases that can come up when you're sorting. The big takeaways are to keep in mind that everything in your list or iterable that you're trying to sort must be comparable. And when you're trying to sort alphabetically, you're actually sorting off of the Unicode code point value. In the next video, we're going to talk about times when you'll want to use sorted over sort, and vice versa.